We're not even into spring yet, and we've already received two new Vocaloid releases for this new year of the snake. While I don't want you to think this channel will become some sort of Vocaloid's news outlet, I'm not nearly knowledgeable or dedicated enough for something like that, I am quite excited about the voice banks due this year, and so I guess I will call this series Vocaloid 2013. You can bet your shorts I'll be making a video when Luca a pen comes out, but in this video I'll talk about the two recent releases, Kaito's long-awaited update and Gumi's newest voice bank. Just a few weeks ago, Kaito fans would receive the best present they could ever ask for. If you haven't watched my original Vocaloid series, Kaito was the very first male Japanese Vocaloid, released all the way back in 2006. Miku received her append only two years after her release, but Kaito fans had to wait almost seven. Why did it take so long? Kaito was the only voice bank to ever sell fewer copies than what was deemed necessary during its release period. He needed to sell around 1,000 copies for his developers to be satisfied, but he only sold 500. Because his female counterpart Meiko sold over 3,000 in the same release period, Krypton assumed that male Vocaloids would not be as popular as female ones. Future male Vocaloid releases would not do much to alter this perception. Gumi did much better than Gakupo did, despite Gakupo receiving a large handicap in terms of star power and advertising. Prima was more popular than Tonio, and even though Len was voiced by a woman, he's still seen as a male Vocaloid, and he's always been partly in Rin Shadow. Well then why make male Vocaloids at all? Male Vocaloids are, on average, less popular than female Vocaloids, but that doesn't mean that's always true, or that they can't be profitable. Vocaloids are about making money, after all, and it's clear that some male Vocaloids, such as Bruno and Oliver, were more popular in their release periods than contemporary female Vocaloids. And while Meiko overshadowed Kaito initially, he would later become more popular than her. By 2009, Kaito was outselling some Vocaloid 2 voice banks, despite being years older. Keep in mind he also had the older Vocaloid 1 software, so he was likely more difficult to use than the Vocaloid 2 voice banks he was competing with. Krypton Future Media announced in 2010 that they were working on an append series for Kaito and Meiko. However, at that point they were barely in the planning stages. They were making their intentions known, which excited many Meiko and Kaito fans. But like with Gumi's Extend, because the Vocaloid 3 engine was on the way, whether they would be Vocaloid 2 based or Vocaloid 3 based was still up in the air. Some test recordings were done with Kaito's original voice provider, Mr. Fuga Naoto, in December 2010, and Kaito's planned to pen voice banks were named. But the producer in charge of Kaito's development was struggling a little bit. The mission statement of pens is to create, quote, an expression of color in the different voice banks. But the producer found that Mr. Fuga's default voice was already so good that trying to force changes didn't work out well. He wanted to produce a Kaito voice bank that was even lower and deeper than his original, but this apparently went badly due to limitations of the Vocaloid 2 engine. Beta versions of Kaito append voice banks were used in commercial music in early 2011. A total of six new voice banks were created, but two of them were dropped in favor of the others. In June 2011, Kaito's soft voice bank was considered by Krypton the most natural sounding of the group, but apparently lowering the gender factor on the voice resulted in Kaito sounding like a girl. While Krypton admits the results sounded cute, they considered it a mistake and tried to remove it from the software. <sighs> Us poor Kaiko fans. Why do you hate us so, Krypton? In December 2011, Krypton revealed that all of the previews up to that point had been created using the Vocaloid 2 engine, and that from then on they would be rendered using the Vocaloid 3 engine, confirming that Kaito and Meiko would be released using the Vocaloid 3 engine. But Kaito's development would also be quite interesting, as Krypton began soliciting help from English Vocaloid production companies to aid in developing Kaito's English voice bank. Krypton began to develop Kaito's English voice bank almost as if he was an English Vocaloid, and they put a lot of effort into it. 
2012 was a year of tweaking and tinkering, mostly with Kaito's English voice bank, but the others needed refinement as well, especially on the lower notes. Kaito's producer actually referred to the development of Kaito's English voice bank as annoying, and mentioned the troubles he was having with his other voice bank's low notes repeatedly. Interestingly, in late 2012, Kaito was handed over to Kenmochi Hideki for approval and adjustments. Mr. Kenmochi was the man who began the Vocaloid project all the way back in 2000, and I was surprised to hear he was still active in Vocaloid development. I just assumed he would have moved on to other projects, as often happens when someone's creation becomes so large and popular, but perhaps the Vocaloids are what he will be remembered for, his legacy. Not for giving computers a voice, or even for making computers sing, but for allowing computers to touch our hearts. The road was long, but Kaito's update, known as Kaito V3, was released February 15, 2013. Though I call it an update, it's more similar to Internet Co's Extends than the Krypton Appends. For one, you do not need to have Kaito's original voice bank installed to make use of Kaito V3. Kaito's new voice banks are also more focused, like Megpoid V3, intended to be refined and not to offer as many new, wholly different voices the way Miku Append did. Kaito V3's voice banks are straight, soft, whisper, and English, with straight being his updated default voice. Interestingly, unlike the previous Append and Extend voice banks, which were created with new vocal recordings, Kaito V3's soft and whisper voice banks were created by editing his straight voice bank in software. His character design is very similar to his original. In some early concept art for Kaito Append, Krypton intended to make his scarf transparent, but this was changed after outrage from his fans. In my Megpoid native segment, I said that there was not a huge demand for it because it was so similar to Gumi's original Vocaloid 2 voice bank, as most of the voice data was identical. But Kaito Straight is a completely new recording, and a huge improvement over his original voice. People who already own Kaito will be even more excited to acquire his V3 version than users new to him, and they can do so at a discount. Kaito Straight is much smoother and clearer than his original voice bank, although it is apparently more difficult to tune as well. There's always a catch, isn't there? It's also important to note that because of the large time difference between the recording of his original voice bank and his new ones, almost six years, Mr. Huga's voice has changed a little bit. This results in Kaito Straight having a slightly different voice from his original, and even Krypton has admitted that Kaito V1 and Kaito V3 sound something like brothers. In fact, some producers have created duets using the two voice banks. Kaito's English voice bank makes him the third bilingual vocaloid and the first male bilingual vocaloid. His English voice actually reminds me a lot of Big Al, which isn't a bad thing, Big Al is fairly popular. Like with Luca, Kaito's English voice bank isn't up to quite the same quality as the English vocaloids, although it's very good for a Japanese vocaloid, and Krypton doesn't offer any English support for it. But unlike Luca, Kaito's English voice bank differs a lot from his other voice banks, so a lot more editing is necessary to use it in songs with his other voice banks. It has a slightly smaller vocal range than Kaito Straight, so the two voice banks don't line up exactly. Kaito V3 is also the first Vocaloid to come with Pia Pro Studio, a new program that is possibly intended to be a replacement for the main Vocaloid 3 editor. I am not aware of all the differences and possible benefits of Pia Pro Studio, but it seems to offer real-time editing and pi pitch manipulation and greater support for plugins. Kaito V3's voice banks are currently the only ones that are compatible with it.
くほのかしかない日もなく人それぞれの全員から生まれた理屈で女神と間取りを取り合われに飛び回る手をも Released only one week ago, Megpoid English gives us our fourth bilingual vocaloid and increases the flexibility of one of the most popular vocaloids, Gumi. But to be honest, her English release is a little underwhelming so far. I can't find much information on it or the history of its development yet. We do know that recording for it finished sometime in the summer of last year and that the voice bank was built to Yamaha's specifications of an English vocaloid. So Internet Co. probably developed Megpoid English in a similar fashion to Kaito English. And to illustrate the difference in database complexity, a developer tweeted that when recording was finished, Megpoid English was five times larger than one of her Japanese voice banks. I have some common complaints about the Japanese created songs which use her English voice bank. Her voice is very quiet and the music drowns it out, making it difficult to hear her pronunciation, and what little can be heard is hard to understand. This may be due to the fact that these musicians were working with the pre-release version of Megpoid English and did not have access to Internet Co.'s full pronunciation dictionaries, which would reportedly improve pronunciation and ease of use by a large amount. 
So the lack of quality song should not be taken as a lack of quality in the voice bank. While the release so far is a little disappointing, it's Gumi. The worst it will be is good, and I would be surprised if she didn't do better than that. I debated whether to include her in this video, as producers obviously need more time to learn her nuances, but I'll show off a few demos. I'll definitely come back to her when her portfolio of songs is more developed. I do have to say I enjoy her new look though. It's much nicer than her V3 outfits, which I felt were a little too much. Or too little, if you know what I mean. I still prefer her original outfit, but she looks good in this dress. It's different. I like it. Something pretty cool is that just last Sunday, March 3rd, Gumi had a sort of live mini event at New People in San Francisco to debut her English voice bank in the US. They had small projection performances, gave out free trials of Megpoid English, and sold merchandise. This song is a work in progress, but I think it shows off the capabilities of Gumi's English voice bank better than the others, possibly because it's being worked on by a native English speaker. It was originally an Ivana cover, but the producer transferred the data to Gumi English and did editing and tweaking where necessary. It still needs work, but her pronunciation seems much better here, and her voice is nice and bright. Every time this walk broke you I was believing in you Was I mistaken to you say Do you see what you mean? I want to love to last forever But I'd rather you I'd rather hear the truth 